Paul Newman. I normally say James <laughs> Dean there. Paul Newman is, anyway. Um, yeah, this is a letter from God to Man. It says, hey there. How's it, how's it going? A long time no see. I know I haven't been around much lately, but it didn't seem like you wanted me to be. The last time I sent down a message, you nailed it to the cross, so I figured I'd just leave you to it and let you be your own boss. But I've been keeping an eye on you, I have, and it's amazing how you've grown. All your technological advances and the problems you've overthrown. All the beautiful art you've created with such grace and such finesse, but I must admit there are a few things I'm afraid have impressed me less. So I'm writing to apologise for the horrors committed in my name. Well, that was never what I intended. I feel I should take my share of the blame. A lot of the good I tried to do was corrupted when organised religion got into full swing. What I thought were quite clear messages were taken to unusual extremes. My teachings were taken out of context to meet the agendas of others. Interpretations taken in different ways and hidden meanings discovered. Religion became a tool for the weak to control the strong. With all these new morals and ethics, survivor of the fittest was gone. P.T.O. <laughs> No longer could the biggest man simply take whatever he needed, because damnation was the price if certain rules were not heeded. Some of the deeds committed in my name make me wonder where I went wrong. But back at the start when I created this, the foundation seemed so strong. See, all the elements were already here, long before I began. I just kind of put them all together. I didn't really think out a long-term plan. I made the sun an appropriate distance and laid the stars across the sky so you could navigate this globe or watch the sunrise. I covered the earth with plants and fruit, some for sustenance and some for beauty. I made the sun shine and clouds rain so their maintenance wasn't your duty. I tried to give each creature its own attributes without making them enveloped. Gave you all your own space to grow and in your own way space to develop. I didn't know that such developments would cause rifts and jealousy. Cause you to war amongst each other and leave marks on this planet indelibly. You see, I wasn't the creator. I was more the curator of nature. And I want to step things straight with homosexuals right now. I don't hate you. I was a simple being that happened to be the first to yield such powers but I just laid the ground. It was you that built the towers. It was you that invented bombs and the fear that comes with them. It was you that invented money and corrupt economic systems. You invented terms like just war and terms like friendly fire. It was you that didn't know when to stop digging deeper and when to stop building higher. It was you that exhausted the resources I carefully laid out on this earth. And it was you that saw these problems come but credit them little worth. It was you that used my teachings for your own personal gain. And it was you that committed such tragedies even if they were in my name. So I apologise for my mistakes or when my words are misconstrued. But this apologies to Mother Nature because I created you.